Everyone, Matt here from Docs Running. Today we're gonna to do a video review of the new A6 Gel Cayano 30 and do some comparisons with version 29 because honestly, these shoes couldn't be more different, but they still have some essence of the Cayano series, which is really great. But Cayano 30, I'm just gonna go out and say it is the best version of this series that I have experienced it. And I think they've done a really good job. And really what this is, is all the stuff that we've been talking about here on Docs Running, all the concept of stable neutral, how to do stability in different ways. It's all in here. There is also a mild post in here, supposedly that they're trying to add. So they've really taken everything that's been talked about stability wise and really put it into one shoe. And it's working really, really well. I'm really enjoying this. It's again, still a higher level premium stability shoe. How it's doing that is gonna be different than the past. While there is technically a post here, it's really using more geometric stability and some plenty in the inner part of the sole that I think they learned from stuff like the Keanu Light. Before we get any farther, let's again, this, talk about some of the specs and what the shoe is. So this shoe is a moderate to high stability premium daily training shoe. Spec wise, supposedly it's coming in a little bit heavier at around like 10.7 ish ounces men's size nine. That's different from the 10.5 ounces that from this version from version 29. On the scale, these actually weigh exactly the same my size 10. So 11.4 ounces over here, 11.4 ounces over here. So it actually feels a little bit lighter and that's probably from the spoam we'll talk about but yeah weight wise actually not that much different stack height wise that is where things get really different so 40 millimeters in the heel 30 in the forefoot for a 10 millimeter drop much higher than the 25 15 over here and you can notice that you're high off the ground there's this is a maximal issue for sure the larger size you get obviously the foam will get even higher right because sizes there's a little bit differences in height uh women's size eight it's going to be 39 in the heel uh 29 and four foot which makes sense right coming down a little smaller size that makes sense so it'll vary depending on where you are but 10 millimeter drop and high stack under a foot the ride is different as well so we got well you had gel over here and flight foam blast plus you've now got flight foam blast plus eco over here which is really nice it's again a little bit of that eco-friendly stuff that box can make can make Bach and the rest of us super happy but the ride is very well cushioned without being mushy it's got a teeny bit of snappiness to it not a fast shoe and a really wonderful ride what's really great here is that for the first time and i don't remember how long i don't know if even ever this actually a smooth heel transition this is something i've griped up with the other versions that yeah the bevel's slowly getting a little bit bigger but it's still not great whereas they took the geometry of version 30 and now there's a decoupling here that collapses really well and there's a small bevel but this collapses really well while you're running for heel strikers and just a really nice smooth transition obviously very rockered a little bit of flexibility but a maximalist stability shoe for sure that really has a lot of natural stability i would say because there are sidewalls on both the medial and lateral sides of the foot i really don't notice this i know it's called 40 guidance but what i really feel is on the medial side this just gently it feels like there's a firmer foam on the inner side just like the keanu light did and the, even the outsole and sole stuff looks very very similar to the keanu light it doesn't feel like it's really aggressively pushing me in one way yeah there's sidewalls over here yeah there's sidewalls on the medial side as well there's a very nice wide base a non-narrowed midfoot thing Thank you very much right they were getting better with version 29 but this one really takes the cake it's got a very smooth transition and it's great for again if you need some stability but you don't want something pushing your foot and maybe you don't like the feeling of a post but you still need some stability maybe immediately maybe a little bit laterally should you keep it centered i'm not sure about the latter one but definitely immediately this is gonna be a really good shoe that integrates it well so it keeps you stable without being in your face is probably the best way i can describe this it's great and it's not clunky as i said this tends to transition really really well it's got a smooth ride it's not meant for faster stuff it does feel lighter than the 29 and that's only because i think there's more foam and it tends to bounce a little bit better but yeah it's a really great riding shoe upper is also different this had a slightly snug upper as the kianos always have this got wider so there's more volume up here i didn't have any slippage i locked the laces down it's fine but a little bit more width throughout here um nice stretchy mesh really nice on the toes it does taper a little bit on my pinky toe here but outside there's more room than previous people that wanted a little bit more room the Keanu and didn't necessarily want a wide it's actually going to do really well those who are concerned about the wider width it does snug up a little bit in the heel and the midfoot does lock down really easily so you'll have enough a plenty of some room to splay your toes but don't worry for people those with narrower feet it still should lock your heel your feet down really well and if you need to lace lock it but i had no issues there is a stiffer heel counter back here it's 
pretty much on par with the previous version. Good amount of heel collar cushioning, so I didn't notice it at all. It's been really fine. But this is a massive update that really takes everything that we've learned in the last several years and updates it into the premium stability shoe, right, that Asics has. And again, comparison-wise, these are really different. So while this one kind of had this like, yeah, it's a Keanu, it's getting a little bit better, it's a teeny bit clunky transition. This one's got that Maxima smoother transition, really that new age shoe that you're looking for. The Keanu 29 is still more traditional. It's still got kind of the same setup you've expected to have over the last several years. Yeah, the posting and changes, that kind of stuff. But if you want traditional feeling, the 29 is gonna be best. The 30 is gonna be a totally new ride. If you're like, I love these Maximus shoes, but I just need something. I want a higher stack shoe. I want that Maximus feel and a really wide base, right? The bases are very different. Much more width over here, so more inherent stability from Soul Flare. This is more traditional, right? And I was complaining that I felt like, not complaining, but the Keanu 29 felt like the stability was reducing, which is yeah, not necessarily a bad thing, but for people looking for that, that was gonna be a problem. Whereas the 30, I think, fixed that and said, hey, I know we're gonna create less of an aggressive like post pushing in your foot, but let's create enough stability that you've got everything, like all the boxes checked, meaning you've got sidewalls, you've got soul flare that doesn't impact, like doesn't create a clunky ride. You've got a really good transition and you've got some geometric stability inside the midsole that still keeps you centered and rolling forward. I think they did a good job and it's still a moderate to higher level stability shoe where I kind of put the Keanu as a moderate stability shoe, but they're doing this for different reasons. This checks a lot of boxes. This still uses some kind of more traditional methods. So if that's something you like, you're probably gonna wanna stay with 29. If you're like, hey, I wanna try what newer stability feels like, 30 is great. I'm really enjoying it. Width wise, again, there's more width over here. It's not too much more, but if you have like a little more snug fit, 29 might be a little bit better. If you want a little more room, 30 is gonna be a little bit better. Outside of that, you know, sole durability has been really, really good. I've got 20 miles on this pair. I've got about 30 miles on the older one. They're doing really well, really well. It's wearing really well. Um, I had never had a trouble. I'm assuming this is gonna be like the Keanu Light where I always had great durability out of them, so I'm not worried at all. Transition wise, this one seems to have just a teeny bit more flexibility just cause this is a little taller stack height, but they're both really smooth and they're both meant for daily mileage. Neither one of these are faster shoes. They're gonna get you through longer runs, easy runs, and they're just there to plot along. So I'm really impressed with the 30 and I'm excited to get more miles on this and get a full written review out. But A6, great job. I don't think this is doing what you what you maybe intended to, which is fine because it's still a stable shoe, which is interesting. This is actually softer, but I am kind of happiest about, yes, you didn't bevel this as crazy as I might've wanted, but you still use some decoupling here that collapses well. And again, you know, reduce maybe some forces, right? We know there's some evidence that if you have a bevel or a little posterior flare, it doesn't quite matter as long as this collapses really, really well and helps ease your transition in. It's not too, the flare isn't too bad. It's still a little rounded and it just creates the smoothest heel of any Keanu that I've felt thus far. So I'm really impressed to see a company and a lot of companies are doing this, but ASIC especially, cause they're pretty traditional to do this to a Keanu is nuts and they've been overworking all their shoes. So I'm really impressed to see the changes that are happening. I'm excited to see the lessons that we learn from this, how people respond to it. But right now I'm responding really well. I'm really excited to get more miles in this. We'll have a full review soon, but that's our video review of the ASICS Gel Keanu 30.